Hi students, this is the third video of our authentication authorization. In last two videos, in the first video we had worked with the roles. Last video we had worked with the uh, uh, rules as well as user creation. Now already in this folder, I had created one page called a login.asps. If you can see you were my first video, in the first video you can see you can connect to all the pages directly. Now I'm going to the login page now and here from the login category of controls, I'm just taking a login control and dragging this login control on my web page. Further formatting this control, chalo, I will just give a better look and feel as classic. And given a click on apply and given a click on OK. Now I'm going to my home page and running this particular page. When I run this particular page, what happens is it shows me all the three links. This is allowed to the anonymous user also. Because I have not yet done logged in, but then also I am allowed to access the detail. Now I am moving towards the student. When I am going to the student page, what happens? The system checks. The user is not yet authenticated. So it asks me, first do one thing, complete your authentication process by logging in. So here I am completing the login for the student. Everybody knows the student login. I had created a rabbi student. The password is uh, A, B, C, D, and the rate 1, 2, 3, 4. And I had given a click on logged. So now you can see very well that I had come towards student home. And if I try to again give a click on a student, I had already been logged in. So I am allowed to access the page. But if I try to give a click on staff over here, then again I am coming to the login page. Why? Because you had logged in as student, but this page cannot be accessed by the student login. So you need to log in as staff member. If you try to give a click on admin, then again it will redirect to login page because you are a student and you are not supposed to access the admin page. I am trying to log in as admin. I had given a click on logged in and I am in a position to access the admin home page. And now I had been logged in as the admin, so I am allowed to access the staff page also, as well as the student page also. Because administrator in the privileges, that is the rules, we had mentioned the administrator is allowed to access all the resources. So this is how this practical works, which is practical number 10B, how to implement the form security and how to implement the authentication and authorization process. Please remember that for completing this practical, you need to have a lower version of Visual Studio. How can you download the lower version of Visual Studio? You do simple activity, you go to Google and please try Visual Studio 2010 download you will get a lot of different websites, but I had gone through the website for downloading, which is named as my free software files.com. So you can just search download free software files and you will come to the free software files Visual Studio 2010. Give a click on this. Then move towards downloading this particular Visual Studio version by giving a click on download now. It will be redirected to some other page. It will wait, wait, wait for the sake of downloading. 2.1 GB download is been available. This is the entire Visual Studio 2010. Complete the download process. If you are decrypting it, it will start the download, but I will stop it because already the downloading is been done by me over here. What next I had done it for the installation is simply I had gone to the download folder, given a click on my iOS file and selected a mount. So you'll find over here the mounted folder has been there. Double click on auto run and complete the installation process. Only select the required options whichever you want to work for this particular practical like C sharp and all you can select. 
So this is the way by which the practical number 10B need to be completed. Class, please be tuned with us. I am coming with the other practicals also for you. Thanks a lot.